Hey there, Hacker Spies, and welcome to Hacker Spy Leaks. So in my last video, I was challenged by this bounty hunter phase to a battle royale to prove my innocence so that I wouldn't be sent back to hacker prison. <laughs> Obviously, I beat her. <laughs> and then I was able to hack into her reality hopper and turn it into a pair of handcuffs. So now that I have her trapped in my safe house, I'm gonna find out more information about her. Struggling will get you nowhere, Craze. It's FaZe, and sorry to break it to you, but you're not gonna get any information from me. Oh, well, we'll see about that. Intruder alert, intruder alert. What the heck? Hmm. <gasps> Who's that? Oh, silly, silly rain. My reality hopper automatically calls for backup <gasps> once it's off my wrist. You won't have me here for much longer. Well, then I guess I might as well make the best use of your time. What the? What is this thing? I have attached you to my very own hacker spy polygraph test. I recoded this baby to tell me if you're lying or telling the truth, but the catch is, if you lie to me, it's gonna tickle your hand a bit. What? No, I hate being tickled. If you lie so much that you can't handle the tickles anymore, you'll have to take off your mask and reveal your face. Okay, well this will be easy. I had to go through some very tough training back in the day. Okay, Hacker Spies, before I get this lie detector up and running, it is time to Hacker Spy Verify. Hit that like button so I know that you're a real Hacker Spy and that I can trust you with the information we're about to find out about this bounty hunter phase here. Thanks, guys. Is that too tight? Uh, yeah. Good, now you can't wiggle your way out. So how does this work? I will be asking the questions here, days. It's phase. Whatever. Okay, hacker spies, comment below with any questions that you think that I should ask this bounty hunter face to figure out more information about her. So let's start with something easy just to make sure that this thing is working, okay? So what is your name? It's phase. Correct. Alright, it looks like Polly's working just fine. You named your polygraph test? <laughs> what the heck was that? I told you I'm the only one asking questions. <clears throat> yeah, but I didn't think you'd go all tickle me Elmo for just asking a question. Well, now you'll think twice before you disobey my orders. <laughs> Ooh, I like being in charge. <laughs> Maybe I should go by like Sergeant Rain. I like the sound of that. Firewall under attack. Firewall under attack. Huh? <laughs> it looks like my fellow bounty hunters are getting closer to getting me out of this shed. It's a safe house. Doesn't seem too safe if you ask me. It looks like your firewall needs some uh, tighter encryption. You could really... Whatever, whatever, whatever. Time for round two. How does your reality hopper work? I don't know. <laughs> I hope that you have a fire extinguisher on hand because your pants are on fire. Liar. I didn't even lie. Oh, Polly begs to differ. Want to try again? I mean, no, not really, but I don't think I have another choice at this point. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I'll ask you again. How does your reality hopper work? Magic. Oh! <laughs> You're not making it easy for yourself, buddy. Well, I didn't work my way up to be the greatest hacker in the world just to tell you how I coded my greatest pride and joy. No! Can't handle the tickles anymore. I'm doing fine. Okay. It's basically a time machine mixed with a dimension hopper but instead of moving people to a time and place, it brings time and place to the person. <sighs> Interesting. Oh God, I told you that. But how are you able to get it into such a small device? Well, the main computer behind it is in a secure location. The Reality Hopper just uses super advanced Bluetooth technology to transmit the power from the computer to make it work. You know, like a remote control or something. I see. Is that all? <laughs> Why do I keep getting tickled? <laughs> I told you, you're gonna keep getting tickled if you keep asking questions, even rhetorical ones. Make it stop. Only you can make it stop. 
And just when I was giving you highly classified intel. Firewall hack. <sighs> Firewall hack. Two minutes until security <laughs> system compromised. Hacker Spice, it looks like we don't have a lot of time before Faze here is broken out of here by some other bounty hunters, so we really have to work quickly. I don't know how much more you're gonna be able to get out of me with only two minutes left. Why don't you just let me be free so we don't have to waste any more of your time? <laughs> Round three. You're not doing so well though, Faze. Are you sure you wanna continue? I don't know which is worse, the tickling, revealing my face, or hearing you talk and talk and talk and talk. Was that a question? No. <laughs> you know, you can just reveal your face and then this will all be over. Never. Okay, well. Well, whatever you say, round three. Why are you working with the swipers? Uh. Uh, Getting kind of nervous over there, are you, Faze? Me? No. Uh, um, can I, can I get a paper towel or something? <laughs> All right, you know, fine. I will get you a paper towel because I can see how sweaty you are. So, BRB. I got a looser. All right, all right. Are you sure you don't want to just like give up? I'm sure the world would love to see your bright shining face. I'm not a quitter. Well, there you have it. Okay then, so why are you working with the swipers? They heard of my hacking skills and they knew that I could use my talents to capture whoever or whatever they wanted in their possession. I mean, plus, the pay is pretty good. I mean, they were gonna give me $10,000 for capturing you. Oh, you people are the worst. It's not all about money! Hey, that's weird. Polly didn't react to your answer. She's never done that before. Hacker Spice, did you see Faze do anything to Polly? Like, did she hack into it or something? Comment the hacking emoji down below if you saw her do anything sketchy. I mean, I'm kinda strapped in over here. I don't know how I could've possibly hacked into this lie detector test, considering I'm handcuffed and stuff. Watching you. 30 seconds remaining until security system fully compromised. Ah! Okay, on to the fourth and final round. Uh, Are you ready? I actually need to go to the bathroom. Too bad. Question four. How do you harness the power of time travel? But I really need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I gotta pee my pants. Well, apparently Polly thinks you can hold it a little bit longer. How do you harness the power of time travel? I mean, what even is time travel anyways? Come on, Faze, it's a simple question. How do you harness the power of time travel? I plead the fifth. But, but this isn't a car room. You don't get to just not answer the question. <sighs> ha ha! <laughs> Looks like you're too late, Rain. What the heck? How did you get free? I guess I'm still the greatest hacker in this universe. Ciao, Rain. <gasps> Security system fully compromised. I know that already, Alex. Huh, weird. That's my evil twin, Snow, calling. Okay, well, Hacker Spice, I'm gonna answer Snow's call and see what she wants, maybe if she has any, like, information on what just happened, but in the meantime, special shout out to you, Hacker Spice, who've been helping me out on these recent missions. Thank you so, so, so much. I really appreciate it. I'm gonna read all your comments, get back to you with another video real soon, and in the meantime, stay vigilant, Hacker Spice. Keep watching.